and I am a one to one CIA in fifth grade in Miss Lesko's class, and I will be reading you some pages from Granny Torelli Makes Soup. Granny Torelli comes over, says she's in charge of me tonight. She wants soup. Zupa, she calls it. She says it like this. Zupa. She starts rooting in the refrigerator, selecting celery, that's your green, she says, carrots, that's your orange, she says, onions and mushrooms. That's our white, I say. She reaches in the freezer, snatches some chicken, flips it into the microwave, zaps it to defrost, seizes the big red pot, fills it with water, tosses in salt and pepper and a dash of soy sauce, hands me a knife, we chop, 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 fling it all in the pot. Such a good smell bubbling in the kitchen. And then she says it. Okay, Rosie, what's going on with you? I say, nothing's going on with me. She says, you maybe can fool other people with that smart head of yours, but you can't fool Granny Torelli. I love Granny Torelli, always making good things, always so calm, so patient, always telling me about my smart head. You going to tell me? Next chapter, Granny Torelli roots in the cupboard, snares the little pasta dots, adds more pepper and salt to the bubbling good things, tosses in the pasta and says, you going to tell me what happened? You going to tell me what's making your eyes so inside looking. She reaches out and taps underneath each of my eyes and it tickles. Oh, it's nothing, I say. It's just that Bailey, that Bailey, she says, that Bailey, your buddy, your pal. Is there any other Bailey? I push my shoulders up, let them fall again. Rosie, why are you so sad? Inside looking about Ro Bailey, he is sick. No, he is not sick, I say, except in the head maybe. Granny Torelli smacks her lips. Rosie, that's no way to talk about your buddy, your pal Bailey. She frowns a big clown frown and pretends to sob. Boo hoo, she says, that Bailey has made me molto, molto sad. Boo hoo hoo. She makes me laugh, that Granny Torelli.